Oh, there's a lull in the action, Fatima. And I'm just wondering, you know, there's one spot on uh, your, your makeup job. I was just wondering, could you, I, I think I'm going to try to tidy it up and you're going you're gonna to help me? Oh, a call. Whoa. Wow. That is phallic. Doggy style with that, huh? Look, it, Fatima, it's like the corners, okay? It's tricky because your eye, it's freaked out. It thinks something's going to poke you out and you're going to get blunt. And I'm wondering, should there be a little, should we, should we put a little thing like that? You know, the kind of Johnny Depp Pirates of the Caribbean thing? What do you think? Not too bad? No, I can do it myself. Look. Oh. Um, thank you. Yeah, there's a lull in the action because uh, they're driving 10 hours, okay? <clears throat> Running out of stuff to talk about. Oh. Oh, there's... Oh, that ginger. 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 It's in season. Okay, look. I'm a hip storyteller, okay? So I'm going to paint a picture in your imagination about where we're going. I keep saying, freaky Cappadocia. Why is it freaky and how did it get freaky? Okay? And, you know, I got a book right here. I just show you. But I'm not going to do that. Why? Because your imagination, just on its own, with a canteen of words to go with it, you, you lost the skill, okay? What did they throw in your crib? Yeah, smarty phone, huh? Look, I'm trying to rehabilitate this millennial generation. So, okay, focus. Focus where? If we had three eyes, life would be a lot easier. Pretend you have a third eye. At least. Okay, look. Millennials gather around. Oh, so many have come to the performance this morning. Oh, yes. Andre, thank you for being here. Uh, oh, Robbie, huh? How's the transgender uh, surgery going? Uh, <clears throat> imagine. Oh, 30 million years ago. Mm -hmm. Mammals. That's us. Don't you watch any David Attenborough? Mammals, they nurse their young. And what? They're not cold-blooded. <laughs> like those snakes, huh? And reptiles, they they got to just hang out in the sun to charge up. We're cooking ourselves up. We're burning up 97 degrees in the shade or sun. Yeah, well, um, there was three around Cappadocia volcanoes. They had Islamic names like Hussein, Melodis, and Kabul. Istanbul, Istanbul, Ursisius. Uh, and they were guys, okay? And they, you know, periodically they, and they're big guys. They're volcano-sized men. We're talking danger. Uh, and they would erupt. They would just blow out, you know, mm -hmm. all over her. <clears throat> Got us, sir. Cream the whole territory. Goo, goo, goo. With mud, ash, <laughs> and lava. Successive layers. And I used to do it once, huh? This is something to tone down that to test on, huh? So, uh, what happened with this lava when it cooled off? Well, it's strangely enough, 
became stuff called tuff. Tuff. You better get used to it. T-U-F-F. Tuff. But tuff is not really hard stuff. You were just in crate in the caves? It's like that. It's pumice stone. It's light. You can scrape the barnacles off your feet with it and not hurt yourself. And frozen in time. Oh. Well, the wind, huh? You see the wind? The wind whipped it good. And the rain soaked it down. Yeah. And the, the rain soaking in the wind whipping it, nod all around yeah. this tooth stuff that couldn't say no. Okay. It was a sex, sex slave of geography. 30 million years ago. Tyrannosaurus. Watch out that brontosaurus. They're, they're, they're as heavy as like 200 elephants. Well, they're the most sexy dinosaur. Because if they step on you, you're fucked. Well, uh, yeah, when everybody, all the nature taking advantage of this kind of net mellow, wind whipped, rain soaked, not good. It fashioned the landscape into like it was Mars. It had a Martian attack. And to top it all off, the volcanoes, Mendez, Uluzgar, Uskadar, Das, Istanbul, when they, again, and they blew out, their sperm were boulders of basalt, hard ass basalt. Sperm, it blew the whole it blew the whole movie set apart. Okay, Zorba the Greek. Uh, -uh I don't think so. Anthony Quinn, just let go home. Uh, oh, oh, oh! The Battle of Suleiman the Magnificent, conquering the Knights of Rhodes. You guys, uh huh. You're out of a job. So what happened? Now see the imagination, huh? Was gonna it's gonna get you through. It blew out a, bat, a, a big, bad, bald, uh, volcanic boulder the size of a Mack truck parking lot. And where it landed, it, well, gravity, okay? It didn't really have a choice in the matter. It landed on the soft tooth. Shocking, huh? And... When the wind was whipping everything around it, and the rain was <laughs> on top of it, gnawing around it, gee, you ended up, the basalt boulder on the top, the Hard Rock Cafe up there, it protected what was beneath it. And because it was so heavy ass, the tooth couldn't get away. The wind couldn't whip it enough to move it off there. So what you get is what's called a fairy chimney. It's like a three, four story column of soft tooth with a gigantic boulder. Think half dome, Yosemite. We're talking gigantic boulders. They call them fairy chimneys. I'd like to smoke up one of those. Um, and there's whole valleys of the things, right? I mean, a picture would have saved you like at least an hour of your lifetime. You're not going to live forever. I mean, my heart has beat 3 billion, 500 million times. My sand clock's just got a few grains left at the top. So, you know, pace yourself. Do good stuff in your life. Or otherwise, before you know it, well, uh, yeah, these descriptive analogies, just using words of fairy chimneys, well, it's not only torturing you, huh? What about me? I got to try to 
describe this? Okay, look. Okay, millennials. Andre. Okay. Pass it around. Pass it around. Try to keep people here. The whole set's falling apart, actually. Um, mm. Look, let me put it into uh, language you can understand, huh? You're not all fairies. Okay, good for you. Um, you might be missing out. Um, okay, look, you got a homeless camp next to the Sacramento River, huh? You can't afford, you know, 3000 bucks a month to live in a, in a garage, okay? We're, there's no blame here. We're not, you know. What do you have growing in the middle of your homeless camp? You got a chick. Well, that's, you're lucky there. And you got like seven or eight ne'er-do-wells, scuffless characters golden-hearted, you wake up, and what? Growing right next to the campfire, and the, well, you make them with the 24 uh, packs of Heineken cardboard containers. Uh, a 10-story <laughs> magic mushroom. And what's the on top of it? It's a cap. <laughs> it's a gigantic cap of Amanita muscaria, the original soma of the uh, of the Vedas. Uh. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So the stem, the ten-story stem. I mean, it's, it, you know, it's just it's wide, but soft tough. You know, this ginger Fatima I need to tie could you tie it look right. <clears throat> um, it's tough it can't go anywhere because it's got the Amanita muscaria colossal cap pushing down on it yeah okay um you know, to hell with all this. I'm doing this for free, okay? Enough of this. Okay, look, everybody relax. Yeah, get the vape pen out. Andre, get the vape pen out. Robbie, get your sweet little pussy over there. It costs you a lot of money, huh? 100000 bucks. San Francisco's best surgeon who herself, get the pronouns right, uh, had the surgery, and she made sure you can still <laughs> come to the party. Oh, yeah. Good thing you're so rich. Uh, yeah. Okay. You know, I, enough is enough. Okay, everybody, have a real deep on the vape pen of uh, <laughs> DMT. Then everything will look immediately like Cappadocia, okay? Saves you a big plane ticket on that or to anywhere else. Um, yeah, dimethyltryptamine. Get a life, huh? Oh. Um, whew, yeah. Oh. You see? Now you're tripped out on the DMT. You see those crags of turf? Oh, turrets. Touristy. Turrets of tuff, fairy chimneys, capped with a, looks like a big cock. Shiva lingam, huh? Um, tuff caves, no. Oh, sphinx, oh, yeah, uh, tuff pyramids, gorges, <coughs> canyons, <coughs> filled, with, filled with fairy chimneys, huh? And, you know, the colors come on. Look, is there any artists out there? You know, the true, the good, and uh, a little bit of beautiful. Make your life go a long way. We're talking colors like ochre. That's like burnt orange. Uh, rust, the good kind, rust. You see this is a green? This is a cross with 
This jacket is like 700 bucks. Every time you move it, because it's woven crossways, it changes in its reflection. I spent a fortune on this, this wardrobe. Umber. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and uh, churches made out of the top. Churches? I thought we were supposed to be in a <laughs> country. Well, back in the day, uh, Jesus was like right around here. And those Christians, being lazy, because Jesus just like, okay, 10,000 fish, just like munch up. Everything was so easy. They got lazy and they, you know, they heard about Cappadocia. They just went in there and they twiffed out churches. Yeah, I mean, uh, uh, St. Basil made pesto shroom shakes here in the 4th century. Yeah, well, St. Paul visited it. He, he wrote letters. Post restant fairy chimney to the, to his people here, toofed out to the max. Uh, well, you know Christians could use a break, you know, because there aren't many left. Ooh, 